have you been hearing a lot about UAP lately? Noticed a number of news stories hinting at a major official announcement seemingly any day now? On July 26, 2023, a crucial UFO hearing finally got underway. And it's all eyes on America, with claims that alien technology and even bodies have been covered up. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're taking a closer look at the recent developments surrounding the UFO whistleblowers. And what's doubly intriguing is that the clip you're about to see was actually produced by our dedicated space and science channel, Unveiled. So be sure to check out more from Unveiled, linked in the comments and description. Over to you, Peter. This is Unveiled, and today we're answering the extraordinary question, is the government secretly hiding alien contact? Do you need the big questions answered? Are you constantly curious? Then why not subscribe to Unveiled for more clips like this one and ring the bell for more thought-provoking content. In 1938, the actor Orson Welles managed to convince millions of Americans that aliens were invading New Jersey via his infamous War of the Worlds broadcast. And arguably, the radio drama, played in the style of a breaking news segment, marked the beginning of American fascination with UFOs and alien contact. Over the following decades, reports of unidentified flying objects exploded in virtually every state. From cities to isolated rural areas, flying saucer sightings became shockingly common. Nearly a century later, the obsession, the legend, is still going strong, but always shaped by one particular aspect, how much is being held back. Conspiracies about UFOs, now referred to as UAPs or Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon, have persisted for decades. Every once in a while, they gain steam and an air of legitimacy when a former government employee speaks out. Official whistleblowers have been making claims for upwards of 70 years. Edward Rappelt, for example, was a top Air Force figure in charge of UFO surveillance in the 1950s. After his retirement, he wrote a book and claimed that there was a secret government report titled Estimate of the Situation. That report, he said, confirmed that many UFOs were of non-Earth origin elsewhere, and modern history is replete with a soaring number of high-level civilian and military officials who have either pushed for full disclosure or, more broadly, have rung the alarm. The U.S. Senator Barry Goldwater was one of them, as was the first chief of the CIA, Vice Admiral Roscoe H. Hillencotter. In more recent years, there have been whistleblowers from Israel, the U.K., and Canada, all claiming that evidence of aliens on Earth has been suppressed ever since World War II. Astronauts have spoken out as well. Edgar Mitchell, a native of Roswell, New Mexico, and eventual Apollo 14 astronaut, claimed to know through inside information that the notorious Roswell incident did involve a non-Earth vehicle, no matter how many alternative explanations have been put forward. Later, Mitchell, as a former Apollo 14 astronaut, even claimed that well-meaning aliens prevented a nuclear apocalypse during the 1970s. Across multiple interviews, he quoted anonymous Air Force officers from the White Sands testing site and other silo workers who confided that alien crafts frequently shot down or disabled U.S. nuclear missiles. Such claims have traditionally been quite easily dismissed as wild conspiracies peddled by chancers after a quick buck. Things slowly began to shift during the Bush, Obama, and Trump administrations, however, largely thanks to the former Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid. In 2007, Reid and several other interested bipartisan colleagues invested over $20 million in a secret Pentagon drive called the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, or AATIP. The congressionally organized team investigated UAP claims from within the military and reported them to Congress. Though AATIP shut down in 2012, it opened the door for other programs to follow. Five years later, in 2017, Navy-owned videos of UAPs were leaked to both the New York Times and the Washington Post. A spokesperson for the Pentagon eventually acknowledged their authenticity. In 2020, the Navy officially released the videos themselves, nicknamed FLIR, Gimbal, and GoFast. According to contemporary reporting from 2020 and 2021, there were years, if not decades, of infighting within the Pentagon and intelligence agencies leading up to the release. Debates raged over how much these reports and films of UAPs mattered and regarding who should be allowed to know about them. Thanks to pressure by lawmakers on the Hill like Reed, as well as multiple media organizations, the government ultimately took a more serious stance. At least it appeared that way from the outside looking in. There followed a fresh rush of bureaucracy, report-making, and hints towards a revelation. 
In the summer of 2020, the Department of Defense established a replacement to Reed's AATIP, the Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon Task Force, or UAPTF. According to the Pentagon's official press release, its remit was to, quote, improve its understanding of and gain insight into the nature and origins of UAPs. The mission of the task force is to detect, analyze, and catalog UAPs, it continued, that could potentially pose a threat to U.S. national security, end quote. Whether originating in space or out of a rival nation, this was the military and all official lines openly positioning UAPs as a potential security risk for arguably the first time. Ten months after launching their initial investigations, the UAPTF issued its first report in June 2021. As mandated by Congress, it was submitted to the Office of the Director of National Intelligence. In this case, without going into classified detail, the report revealed the source of 143 UAP sightings recorded by the U.S. military that could not be explained. Importantly, however, although the UAP report is published online for the public to read, the task force is said to have included a classified annex that isn't so widely available. All in, the report was billed by some as a great stride for transparency, although many others were left disappointed by the seemingly shallow nature of it. And significantly, it found that there was no evidence at that stage to suggest alien involvement in any of the 143 cases. UAPs, yes. Aliens, not necessarily. A year later, in July 2022, the Pentagon announced that the task force would morph into yet another organization, the All-Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, or Arrow. Like its predecessors, the Arrow is meant to standardize intelligence assessments of UFOs and submit annual reports to Congress. It delivered its first in January 2022, again documenting hundreds of UFO sightings. Once more, however, it denied any outright evidence of alien life. But all of these relatively recent developments really lead us to the bombshell reports from June 2023. Now, a whistleblower has said that key intelligence was withheld from every task force previously assigned to study UFOs, that the various reports we've seen are variously flawed, and therefore that their denials of the existence of non-Earth life just don't hold up. So aliens seemingly are back on the table. Who is the whistleblower in question? David Grush was a senior intelligence officer and Air Force veteran. He spent several years with the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency and then the National Reconnaissance Office as a liaison to the UAP task force. His credentials are then unquestioned, and many, mostly anonymous, sources from within the Pentagon have vouched for Grush's integrity. Of particular interest, Grush played a key role in writing the National Defense Authorization Act of 2023, which, importantly, contains provisions for the reportings of UFOs. It protects government whistleblowers and enshrines NDA exemptions for UFO reporting into law, paving the way for, among others, himself. Grush's story broke on the website The Debrief shortly after he left government. The reporters who landed the scoop, Leslie Keen and Ralph Blumenthal, have also worked the UFO beat for mainstream papers like the New York Times. As of now, no major holes have ever been poked into their reporting. Again, the story appears sound. In both the original article with the debrief and in subsequent interviews with News Nation, Grush describes widespread misconduct within compartmented intelligence and military programs. He alleges that these programs, or the individuals within them, illegally hid valuable intelligence about UFOs and UAPs from the task force, the Arrow, the ODNI, and from Congress itself. Grush first filed a whistleblower complaint to the Inspector General of the Intelligence Community in 2021 and again in 2022. Both were deemed credible and forwarded to various other intelligence committees. It was felt that this was no chancer out for a quick buck. This apparently was an inside man with the truth to reveal. Grush makes spectacular claims in the piece. According to documents that he has allegedly viewed, we, humankind, have been aware of non-human intelligence since at least World War II. The documents allege that one-time dictator of Italy, Benito Mussolini, recovered a spacecraft of non-human origin sometime around the end of the conflict. After the war, the Vatican and the Five Eyes intelligence agencies allegedly ferreted it to the United States for study. Bringing it back to the present day, Grush then asserts that both during and after his time with the task force, individuals working on classified UAP programs have spoken to him directly. His revelations are guided by a number of voices. According to his sources, at least one of whom confirmed the story with the debrief reporters, 
intelligence groups have continually thwarted the spread of proof of alien life into the mainstream of the U.S. government. The federal government, they say, maintains one, if not multiple, compartmented programs geared towards retrieving alien spacecraft. Parts of crashed ships, entire ships, and even dead pilots, they say, have all been recovered. Moreover, the U.S. is allegedly in a secret international arms race with other major powers like China and Russia. These powers have then spent decades trying to beat each other in the recovery and reverse engineering of non-human technology. Grush's story is certainly eye-opening. He's been vetted and deemed credible by multiple journalists. Importantly, he's done everything the right way. He went through the correct channels within the system to bring illegal activity from inside the government out into the light. His accusations were taken seriously by the highest powers, and there are now investigations open and ongoing. His claims have also been taken seriously by Congress. Senators and representatives of both parties have vowed to hold hearings in response to what Grush has claimed. Lawmakers of both parties in the U.S. have now pushed hard for transparency around UFOs for more than 10 years. In some respects, they've made real progress during that time, releasing once-classified information to the public. But these fresh allegations are staggering. If Grush is telling the truth, the upper echelons of government all around the world have known for decades about non-human visitors to Earth. And we may well be learning in real time that the U.S. government has indeed been secretly hiding alien contact. What do you think? Is there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments, check out these other clips from Unveiled, and make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for our latest content.